Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a collab with Whitaker's Way, aka Cabernet. Um, first of all, I want to tell her if you, when you watch this video, thank you, girl, for um, collabing with me. I definitely appreciate it. Um, so we decided to do a daycare slash like lifestyle video because she's a mom and she's also a teacher, and then of course she has kids that she takes them to daycare. And so I kind of wanted to do a video that was the different size of a mom taking their child to daycare than a daycare teacher who which me I don't have any kids but I'm a daycare teacher and me receiving the kids um from the parents so first off check my description box down below her channel will be down there she's a mommy of two beautiful children a little boy and a little girl she's a wife and she lives in Japan okay eats sleeps breathes in Japan she was born here not where I'm in Charlotte but she was born in the U.S. so that right there is awesome but let's get to the all right guys so I have some pros, I have some cons, I'm just going to get into it. First off, from a teacher standpoint, because I'm not a mom, so I couldn't say, but from a teacher standpoint, I feel like sometimes y'all parents do a little much by saying, it's like, especially if the child is new into the daycare, some parents don't know when to leave, okay? Y'all don't know when to leave. Like, yes, you're leaving your little one with us, you're trusting your whole life putting it in my hands <laughs> right here but I can say it makes it really hard for us teachers well for me I don't know about other teachers but it makes it really hard for teachers when the parent doesn't leave like they just they kind of stagger around they want to you know watch this and you know watch that watch from the window my whole thing is drop and go because that, that's a motto drop and go and I say that because the longer you stay the harder it's going to be for that child to let to know okay mommy's leaving <clears throat> And some parents want to sit down with the kid, which is fine. This is the first, second day, first week. I understand 100%. But when it's been a little while and your child's still crying, first off, it's a new environment. It's a new place, new teachers, new friends. And so that child has to get in a groove of what they're going to be doing there and how things go and the teacher's routine and the classroom routine you know, if you have a co-teacher that type of routine i remember having parents that they would bring their child in the daycare come into the classroom you know hi good morning how are you how was your night did you sleep well okay good you know and you know i will also throw a little bit of tips um as far as teachers if you're never worked in child care before and you're going into child care always smile always try to have that vibrant good happy energy Energy. never be like hey good morning how are you nice to see you I'm always hi good morning how are you come in and I always been down to the child's level hey little guy hey little girl how are you can I get a hug can I get a high five you know you have to have that well I work with toddlers so you have to have that bubbly type of personality and I think it also makes the parents feel good when they see their child smiling and they see their child giving that teacher a high five and giving that teacher a hug because it lets them know okay my child's kind of bonding with this teacher okay my child is kind of liking this teacher but <clears throat> that's a tip but parents please leave okay it's it's hard for the teachers also because we know what is going to be after you leave sometimes kids are crying sometimes kids are screaming sometimes it takes us a while to get the kids down as far as to calm down and so when you stay around the, the kid is going to think that you're staying the kids the kid is going to think that the child is going to think that you're not leaving and you know I just say drop and go. That's the easiest <laughs> way I can say it is drop and go. Um, second thing is I've worked in day in home daycare and I've also worked in center daycare. Home daycare is a little bit different, but as far as center daycare, um, most of the time they have like a daily sheet or they have like a memorable moment or something like that that you can look over as parents. You can like kind of see what your child ate, if they potty, if they pee. Guys, please take that and use it because as far as me and my old center, we had 16 kids. 16. One and a six together, which means we split down the middle. Eight. And guys, sometimes, you know, as far as parents, y'all come in there and y'all want to know from breakfast all the way through nap through lunch through outside time all the way to pick up how was your child's day and of course you know i'm always nice you know you should always be nice they did really good in this and also use the sandwich um method even if like, let's say johnny threw a block and hit a child in the head 
Johnny, should Johnny have did that? No. But we all, I personally always try to do a sandwich. I'll say, hey, how are you? Um, This is another tip for teachers. <clears throat> hey, how are you? You know, good afternoon. How was work? Okay, good. Johnny had a really good day. He really enjoyed helping me put the numbers on the calendar. He loved it. He actually helped me count all the way to the day of today of the date. And he really enjoyed knowing that. He was so excited to get up there and count his numbers in front of his friends. And his friends helped him. We were all just clapping for him. It was so much fun. Now, we did have a small hiccup when Johnny wanted to hit a friend in the head with a block. But it's okay. We talked about it. He went and gave his friend a hug. He gave him a little kiss. Said that he was sorry. And after that, we went outside and he played on the monkey bars. Did the swings. And we had an awesome day. So, one parents never want to hear all that even for me like even when i used to babysit kids or i used to nanny kids like especially if i get like really close to that child and i get a bond with that child like the mom could tell me do you know that so-and-so did this in school today i'm like what Nah, no, not my sweet little angel. Not my sweet little angel. Like, you know, because parents want to hear good. They've been at work all day, tired, commute, beat the traffic, and they get there. They don't want to hear all bad. So please make sure that you add in a good and a bad. You know, let them know the issue. And then also go in there, um, does this happen at home? You know, what are you doing at the house? Is there anything that we could be doing, you know, as far as teachers? Because sometimes you have a co-teacher, sometimes you don't. I've always had a co-teacher except for maybe like three or four times I've been in the classroom for like a few weeks by myself. Um, is there anything that we can do here that can help as far as at home? Is there anything that we can do to help to help things go better here because we're really in, engaged and we're really concerned. We definitely want the best for little Johnny. So is there anything that you're doing at home that we can implement here? Um, that definitely helps. <laughs> uh, let me see. I have one more. Also, <sighs> parents, parents, parents. Y'all know y'all kids, okay? You know if your kid's a B-R-A-T. You know if your kid is bad. You know if your kid is off the chain. You know your child, okay? <laughs> So, don't go in the classroom asking teachers, how was his day? How was her day? And usually, me and my parents, we would crack up because I would say, you know what? For Johnny, he had a good day. And for Johnny, that means normally what he's doing compared to today, it was an awesome, <laughs> it was an awesome day. So, definitely um, throw that in. Um, a few pros is if you love children, go for it. If you have a passion for children, if you love, like, I used to get so excited. People might laugh at me. I get so excited when I can get on Pinterest and I can look up our ideas. Like, especially, like, when it's, like, Christmas or Thanksgiving or Valentine's Day. When I can look up a cute arts and crafts idea that has the pom color colorful pom-poms or the googly eyes and the glue and the glitter and the straw and bee when i can look it up i get excited about that so make sure that you make it fun for you um i would say you definitely have to be a people's person um because the parents are going to be in your face like how did he eat how did he sleep did he take a nap today did he eat all his food did he drink his milk is he sitting on a potty because girl he won't sit on a potty for me does he sit for you you definitely have to be a people's person you definitely have to be open and you definitely have to have that aura of love and aura of care um cons all kids are not gonna be good these kids are going to cry. These kids are going to scream. These kids are going to poop and pee pee in their panties and underwear. Um, and they're pull up in their diapers. These kids are going to yell. These kids are going to, you have to teach these kids how to share. You have to, I mean, it's like, it's like you're their second mom because <clears throat> most of the time you work 40 hours a week at your job. And which means 40 hours of that week, the child is with, you know what I'm saying, that that teacher and so you have to definitely learn that child you definitely have to understand that child so definitely try to throw in games and activities even if you have younger kids throwing sensory activities okay well Sarah likes playing with the sand and the water but Johnny doesn't like it so let me figure out if I can get Johnny something oh Johnny loves playing with the dinosaurs over there in the block section but you know what I'm saying Sarah doesn't so you definitely have to learn your kids um but as far as cons I really can't think of anything I feel like if you're signing up to be a daycare teacher center teacher teacher twos threes fours even in school age kids you know what you're getting yourself into um <laughs> so i would definitely take that with a grain of salt but that is all for this video thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow bye